Okay, we're going to start with the chevron design. Firstly, you're going to want to select which size chevron is most appropriate for whatever it is you're painting. I find the best way to do this is to line the stencil up against the miniature, terrain or whatever else it is you're painting and then select which size you want to use and then simply snap it off. Then simply line the stencil up against the piece of terrain and if needs be, tape it down. Now it's time to apply some paint. As you can see, the piece of terrain has already been primed black because obviously chevrons are usually black and yellow. I then apply Vallejo's Model Air Yellow through the stencil. It's very difficult to get a nice bright yellow finish when you're painting over black due to the transparency of the paint, so you will need to give it more than one coat for it to really stand out, which is why it's probably best to tape the stencil down before you start painting. Now it's had more than one coat and has had time to dry, we can remove the stencil to reveal a nice looking chevron which would have been extremely difficult to achieve freehand, made easy with a snappy stencil.